What's going on, guys? It's WWE Fan Guy coming to you with another video today. Uh, sorry about my throat. I have a sore throat right now. But yeah, we're going to do another WWE Fan Guy top five list of why, of what will make a Lens Chamber pay per view better. Uh, you know, granted that we're going to see two Lens Chamber matches with awesome talent in the ring on both matches with the women's and the men's. That probably won't need these surprises, but I think they will work with the surprises and shockers in this one. Um, with these, uh, you know, a, a character that's returning or a character that's returning from injury. So, uh, yeah, I think uh, with great talent and wrestling, with the shockers and build up, I think it'll help because once you think about it, guys, we're on the road to WrestleMania. We need to start building new feuds that's going to be culminating in WrestleMania 34. So, yeah. So uh, it would make sense uh, bringing some surprises, shockers, going to uh, Lawrence Chamber, you know. Um, so, yeah, I think it would make sense because it actually builds up towards WrestleMania. It builds up new feuds. So, yeah, we're going to start doing that. Number one is going to be The Undertaker, Costa Cena, the uh, Elimination Chamber match, and Costa Cena, the match. Uh, you know, Cena and Taker been wanting, I mean, been uh, a dream match for all, for most of the wrestling fans, like myself included. Uh, a lot of people would like to see that. You know, granted, we're not seeing the same old Taker. You know, he's a little older. He's a, He can't carry a match no more. I mean, we saw that, uh, you know, with Reigns. He, he He's not the same old guy no more. He doesn't have it as he used to. And, um, you know, he's not, you know, he's not the same, you know, um, Undertaker like he was. And, you know, he needs a, he needs a, he needs to uh, redeem himself from that horrible performance. And, um. Uh, what a way to do it in that WrestleMania. So, yeah, I think Cena will take it beats the headline. And then I think it should be a big stipulation of him, a career versus career. Because I don't think uh, this is probably going to be his last match. And then he'll retire for sure, for sure. So, yeah, I think that'll be a cool, cool build. -up. I think that would be awesome to see take her one more, one more time. And, yeah, he retires into the sunset. And then, yeah, so I think it'd be awesome to see Taker come back. So, yeah, that's my number one. And number two will be Jeff Hardy. Helping Matt Hardy and in interference or something. Um, win his match against uh, Bray Wyatt. Jeff Hardy been injured for quite a while already. Um, um, it was rumored our, uh, um, already that he'll be back for WrestleMania 34. That he won't miss it. Want a way to come back for him, uh, uh, helping Matt Hardy, uh, help his Matt, uh, win his match against uh, Bray Wyatt. It'd be awesome to see Jeff. A lot of people would be uh, stoked about it, and it'd be awesome to see because a lot of people miss Jeff Hardy, including myself. And it'd be also it's an awesome time to make his uh, surprise return to the ring uh, starting tomorrow night at the Chamber. So it'd be awesome to see that. And it'll be awesome to see where they're going to go with Jeff Hardy's character. So, um, yeah, because uh, I think uh, Matt Hardy and Bray Wyatt are not going to, are still going to continue their feud. So, we shall see what we're gonna, they're going to do with Jeff. And the next one, we're going to have Ronda Rousey contract signing. You know, it's only supposed to be contract signing. Uh, but there is rumors that uh, there's supposed to be a tag team match. With her and some uh, mysterious partner against Stephanie McMahon and Triple H. Um, there's a lot of uh, rumors going on that can get The Rock inside the ring uh, with her and help her against Stephanie and Triple H. You know, um, and what a, and I and I think it's a, they should capitalize capitalize on this if they if they put the if the Rock comes out tomorrow at Elimination Chamber and be by her side by her side. And then Triple H comes out, and then you see The Rock and Triple H, with maybe with Rousey and Stephanie McMahon right there also, and then there, there's your build up, there's your there's your feud right there, two, two, uh, two against two, you know, they got Rousey got her partner, and now you know against Stephanie and Triple H, uh, the authority, and then it really makes sense because what happened in WrestleMania 31, and uh. So, and uh, how The Rock was right there with her, 
and then how Stephanie and Triple H were right there also. So it really makes sense uh, to uh, be this uh, be uh, start a feud because you know the, like these characters uh, will really uh, pull it off, especially with The Rock. You know he could bust a promo like no other, and you know I think The Rock would be a better partner uh, in my opinion than anybody else. So yeah, I think The Rock should come back and tomorrow and then um, be right there with her and for Carter exciting it'll be an epic moment it'll be pretty cool and then it'll and then it'll building up a field towards Wrestlemania also that helps also for the WWE so yeah that's, we're going to the next one the next one is Nia Jax beating Asuka yeah I said beating Asuka at Lewis Chamber uh, with her streak on the line and streak with her streak is over. I think the streak of uh, Asuka is very impressive. I think she's a hell of a talent. I think she's a good wrestler. Uh, but um, yeah, I think at Nia Jax time, I think Nia Jax been in the been on the roster for a long, long time, and now it is very hard for her not to get a push. And like Oscar herself coming from NXT and already getting a push, and her. Being the championship match at WrestleMania, granted she's very talented in the ring. Whenever she's nothing like her in NXT and then the main roster, but Nia Jax is a hard worker herself, and I think she deserves to push, and I think she deserves to be in that championship match at WrestleMania. But and that and in order to do that, she got to be Oscar, and I think she has the tools to be Oscar, and I think she she will be Oscar, and I think that'd be a, a biggest shocker. That'd be one of the biggest shockers, if not the biggest shocker in Lesh Chamber tomorrow. And I think that'll be, I think I think that would draw something, and I think uh, make Lewis Chamber look even better if Nia Jax upsets Oscar, uh, and it'd be awesome to see. So yeah, I think that would make Lewis Chamber pretty much uh, a great pay per view. It's one of the it's one of the cool it's one of the awesome moments, uh, in uh, the Lewis Chamber and, and with this match uh, with Oscar and Nia Jax. So yeah, we would need Nia Jax to uh, upset her. To make it an awesome moment and then make a less chamber pay per view a little bit better. Maybe a whole lot better. So, yeah. Nia Jax for the upset. And then, not, last but not least, is Titus Worldwide. Titus Worldwide been a group for a long while. Uh, Titus brought Apollo Crews, or should I say Apollo, since I took his last name out. Uh, Apollo, um, you know, took him under his wing uh, with Akira Tozawa, of course. And then we got Dana Brooke that pretty much is like a secretary, kind of. Um, but, you know, Paul has been under Titus O'Neill's uh, wing for a while. So I think Titus and Apollo needs to push. Titus has had a push for a while. I don't know when's the last time he held a championship. I don't know. Apollo is such a great talent. Um, I'm, surprised he hasn't, I'm surprised they haven't pushed him to, uh, to a universal title. A championship uh, match because he's that talented. I think he could hang with the hang with the best of them. I think uh, they're wasting his character. They're wasting his talent, putting in this mid card matches, and um, and I think it's time because I think Titus for White is a successful team, and I think it's their time. I think it's their time to uh, win those Raw Tag Team titles. So you know we already know what we can see from say Sheamus. And Cesaro, but I think Titus Worldwide needs to, you know, uh, win these tag team titles to, to you know, to make uh, uh, Titus Worldwide brand make it better, you know, make their legit team better. So, yeah, it'd be awesome to see Titus Worldwide uh, uh, beat Sheamus and Cesaro for those tag team titles, and it'd be an awesome moment for them, as well as they deserve those tag team titles because um, they had had a push for a while, and they deserve a push going into Wrestlemania to have themselves an important match going into Wrestlemania because they're pretty much wasting these characters and they're pretty much talented and, uh, and I would like to see them have success so yeah guys these are my top five list I hope you enjoy what you saw sorry about my voice it's, uh, let's have a sore throat hopefully it'll get better tomorrow since I'm going to be doing a Lens Chamber reaction so look out for that video guys and uh, yeah guys thanks for all the support I'm glad that I, I'm glad that you are subscribed and you know I'm very appreciative that you're out there. They are watching my videos, guys, because I'm really happy. You know that you're a part of part of my uh, 
uh, you know, part of my wrestling uh, supporters. And, uh, you know, I'm glad to be part of your uh, uh, wrestling supporting uh, channel. So, yeah, guys, thanks again. Thank you a lot. I couldn't say it. I couldn't say enough, you know, there's a lot of words I can say that to, uh, to say, but, you know, uh, but just, I can just say thank you, you know, uh, it really means a lot to me that, uh, that y'all take the time to watch my stuff, and, but other than that, guys, this is gonna be it, I can't wait for the Little Chamber tomorrow, let me know what you think of my top five list of how Little Chamber paper will be better, and yeah, guys, thanks again, and I'll see you on the next video, guys, thank you, bye.